radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Capricorn for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the cat placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Um, for your protection, that's the only place you can get a reading from me through and my only Insta is directly below. Be aware of fake accounts. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon as well. I post my personal spells, collective spreads, and all sorts of stuff on there. Um, also check out my radio show. I pull cards, play music every other Monday in the description. And other than that, we're just going to see what's going on with you guys, Cap. The messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Oh, I just heard get excited, get ready. All right, so let's get right into it. First card back on task. Or sorry, that's the last card that came out. <laughs> this one says, look beyond the surface. Um, this one says, avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth into your world. So tapping into this energy, I feel like things are happening. Things are moving. Things are shaking. And it's more than the eyes can see. Like if you were to look at your situation, you, were, you would maybe think that it's one way and things are really another Dancing in the rainbow. This one says, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. Also, if people are trying to keep you from being happy, Capricorn, at least distance yourself from those people because tapping into this energy, we have the distinctive potential card and I was feeling like get ready, um, like something is finally about to come through and if you have people in your ear chattering, you know, telling you the exact opposite, like all the reasons why something won't work, won't work out, giving you reasons to feel like you're not getting anywhere, that's just going to serve as a distraction. Those things are just going to keep you off track, so... If there's anyone trying to, you know, or anyone who's pulling down your vibration, trying to make you think that things aren't going to work out for you, you definitely want to separate from those people. We have distinctive potential. This one says rely on faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So there's something that has a lot of potential. You have the ability to go way farther than you think, or you've seen proof that you can go really far. Maybe you met someone um, that supports you, or you know someone that you know believes in you, or you've seen someone do what you want to do, so you know it's possible. And it's possible specifically for you. Every step counts. Yeah, you definitely want to get any negative energy completely away from you um, because you're really actually like so close um, to having something materialize. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. So you want to be mindful about the steps you take right now. You don't need any distractions around you. We have back on task. So I feel like you may be wanting to have some fun or you just had some fun recently in the universe is like okay let's get back to your routine let's get back to the space where you're actually able to manifest and you're focused on what you want um for the future be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner you may consider reviewing your goals your schedule or a project that you're working on all could use some fine tuning so if you haven't had any fun yet have your fun and then get back on task that can also help you it's kind of like the same concept of a study break like you need a little break so that you can continue to grow and expand. Otherwise, you kind of get to a space where you can't learn anymore. Allergies. I'm also getting a message of finding balance. Ooh. 
we got a new love offer coming in or um, a bond strengthening here. But finding balance in the sense that you don't just work, 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 work. Because right now it kind of feels like you're punishing yourself a little bit. Let me move this a little bit. It kind of feels like you're punishing yourself a little bit, feeling like you have to do the most, feeling like you just have to work, work, go hard. And that's true, but that's only a part of it. Don't work yourself into the ground. We got the seven of wands in reverse. Don't work so hard to the point where, you know, you get burned out or you get to a point where you just feel super pessimistic or you're just, you know, make sure you're not beating yourself up. Like for me, I get in these workout stints where I just work out every single day, like two hours a day. And it's like, you got to take a break. You cannot beat your body up like that. All right, let's see what we got. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. This is the love offer I'm talking about. This is looking like new romance for you. You're actually making a really strong bond with someone. And it's looking like it's someone new. And the universe is gifting you this person. The universe is placing this person right in your path, right time, right place. Ten of Wands with the Hierophant. I feel like some days you feel comfortable with where you are, some days you don't. And finding balance is going to be the key, the balance of action. Make sure you're in alignment for this opportunity so that you can take it once it presents itself to you. But don't feel like you have to, you know, fight for an opportunity. Like you have to do the absolute most just so anyone will be interested. Just make sure you're in alignment and you're the best version of you that you can be. And not for another person either, for you. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles in reverse. I feel a need to release control as well, Capricorn, because like I said, this is very much so right place, right time. Um, you know, it's just like you being in the right place at the right time, and that's when you're getting your opportunity. So you may think, oh, if I, if I want to meet this person, I have to be here, when really the universe had its own serendipitous plan for you that was just like a one-off, and um, that's how you're, you're meeting your person. That's how you're getting your, your opportunity. So allow that serendipitous energy to come through. Just make sure you're in alignment. Make sure you feel worthy so you know that it's coming towards you. And beyond that, just, just chill. Make sure you have some fun. Stop working so hard. I feel like you guys are kind of like running yourself ragged. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. Some of you have given up on a specific goal, which is good because at least you're not pressuring it to you know putting pressure on the situation but also i feel like some of you guys are rejecting it now feeling like you've officially decided that you weren't going to chase after something anymore but now it kind of puts you in an energy still where it's like okay now you're kind of repelling it just try to be neutral on the situation because i feel like some of you guys are like i put so much work into this i'm done i'm done i'm just gonna have fun and the universe is saying get back on task balance that masculine and feminine energy and try to be more neutral. Oh, here's confirmation. We have worth waiting for and trust, you guys. Worth waiting for and trust. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's literally what I was talking about. Right place, right time. And you do have to trust the process, but it's worth waiting for, period. It's exactly what you thought it was going to be. It's great. It's a great opportunity. The situation is calling for you to have faith, but you do have to trust that it's going to come through. Someone got burned out from doing too many candles, I'm hearing. If that's your, your method of manifestation, like I'm, I'm feeling like an energy of someone um, getting burned out because they were trying to manifest too much and they weren't really trusting the process. Oh, this is theirs. This is their energy. I don't know if you knew about this or not, but your perfect person had to release their ex. I don't feel your energy on this. I'm getting this as a message of... On their end I will say you know every energy is fluid so this can apply to you as well if you know that you're hanging on to some toxic traits or um, you know self-limiting beliefs due to an ex situation definitely apply this to you but I feel this is really the person you had been wanting a lot of times we do all the work on ourselves and we feel like universe why aren't you sending my person and then we get to the space where it's like oh there must be another lesson that I have to learn what lesson am I supposed to learn right now and really it's just that 
your your person also they're on their own path their own journey they have to be ready too so just because you're ready doesn't mean that they're ready but that also doesn't mean you're not getting what you want it's about patience you guys patience and trust um the time has come to clear your energy is what it says at the bottom of the card we have children and give your relationship a chance children your love life is being affected by children maybe they had some baby mama baby daddy drama <laughs> or maybe this is um oftentimes i get this card when it's a sign of someone going like from boy to man from girl to woman like growing up transforming and then give your relationship a chance at the bottom of that when it says work on your partnership so tapping into that energy Give you a chance, a relationship, a chance to come through. Give it a chance to develop. Also work on your partnership with yourself. All of them fell. <clears throat> that is the only one that actually flipped over, so I'm going to take it. Oh, it just fell again. All right, so we have keep going, sensitivity and retreat. There's those retreat to block out distractions, spend some quiet time alone so that you can focus on your priority. Yeah, you guys, some of you guys are just wanting to really feel free. Man, I have <laughs> this summer. I feel like it's going to be so hectic, especially if Drake drops. Oh, my God. I just know the chaos that will ensue. Oh, Lord. <laughs> because everyone wants to feel free and it's just like if the boy drops too it's just over it's just over <laughs> anyways keep going use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion so yeah you guys i feel like this is a time to retreat a time to recharge a time to come back to self um you know get getting rid of distractions and also outside opinions that are pulling you in the wrong direction uh, sensitivity your sensitive feelings are your muse for inspiration and creativity so when you feel down when you feel like you're not going to get something you should be going harder use that as fuel transform that into an energy that works for you to push you i just heard it's not a no i just heard it's not a no that was a message for someone goodness okay wow we have flash over and doable flash over and doable flash over says it's all in your head so you guys i feel like you're feeling like something is not able to be achieved but it really is a self-limiting belief it, it it really is a reflection of your shadow self kind of being able to run rampant in your head and run things um, doable the key is within your grasp so you guys like I said this is a time for preparation the situation has a lot of potential don't feel like it doesn't every step counts we have Maximus or and Orenda there's those Maximus, how can you feed others when your table is empty? Yeah, you got to work. You got to work and focus on your own prosperity, your own future. You can't continue to be just another body to make the party more fun around people who aren't also mutually supporting you or who aren't giving you inspiration and, you know, bigging you up, making you feel like you can really make it to where you want to go like i feel like a succubus energy from your friends right now and they may not even be trying to do that but they're either feeling really pessimistic and it's just um like they're reflecting that to you or you know something like that like i feel like people are maybe saying things and they don't genuinely feel like you can't make it to where you want to be but that's how they feel like they're about their life so that's all they're kind of spewing out right now 
um, honor your mystical creative force is what this one says. So you have the ability to literally attract anything towards you that you want. And I just get this energy of feeling like you guys have dropped your crown. We have the distraction of shiny things that just came out. And that's when this, what the spread has been all about, majority, a, a big part of it, about getting back on task, focusing back in. We have change maker, make waves, and creative alchemy. All of this is proof that you can do literally whatever it is that you want, that you can have a literally whatever it is that you desire. Change maker, make waves. Creator alchemy is all about transmutation, taking a negative, making it a positive for you. And I feel like this change is all within, all within. The distraction of shiny things and magic happens when you most expect it. So when you feel confident in yourself, if you know that you're the best possible outcome for someone, they will have no choice but to be attracted to you because you have your true belief out there in energetically in the ethers and it will reflect back to you. But if you've made someone up to be like amazing and they're not that's that's the reason why they're not attracted to you because they're not actually in the vibration that you think that they are and it's important to know that especially with social media because you'll be out here thinking someone is like so nice and sweet and just best case scenario for you and they're really just so unbelievably trash and that's why you haven't gotten them that was a message for like one person. <laughs> we have patience and listen. And even, you know, if they are great, um, you know, you still don't want to see someone as if they're some sort of unattainable God. Uh, patience, the tide will come when it's steady. See? Things are going to balance out. Things are going to come to you. Don't you worry. Listen, the secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sound within the shell. So... Take time to resonate, pay attention to the universe. The universe is sending you signs and signals and communicating with you that everything is going to be okay. But you have to quiet the outside voices of other people and their opinions, your shadow self. You have to be at peace in a state of serenity to hear it. And yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Um, for your protection, that's the only place that I offer readings. My only Insta is below. Be aware of fake accounts. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon. I post my personal spells, uh, collective spreads, and all sorts of stuff on there. And that was your spread, Capricorn. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.